Welcome to the Mama Stay Fit YouTube channel. In this video, we're gonna be doing an early postpartum recovery workout that you can do just days after birth. Now, it is important to note that all of us have individual healing after we give birth. So if you had a lot of blood loss or you had a cesarean birth, your recovery may be different than somebody who had an unmedicated vaginal birth, for example. And so honoring how you're feeling right now is gonna be really important. And knowing that all of the movements in this workout are going to be very gentle and it's not going to be what you would probably think of of a normal workout. So what we're going to be doing in this video is just focusing on learning how to reconnect with our core and with our pelvic floor after pregnancy. So we're going to do some breathing exercises. We're going to do some gentle mobility. And then I'm going to introduce you to one or two core exercises that you can do to help support that initial recovery after birth. Hey, my name is Gina. I'm a perinatal fitness trainer and birth doula and founder of Mama Stay Fit. Mama Stay Fit is a perinatal fitness training company that specializes in prenatal and postpartum fitness. We're located here in Aberdeen, North Carolina with our in-person training facility, but we also offer tons of online content to support you all over the world, wherever you're at. In this video, we're gonna be doing a short workout to help you reconnect with your core and with your pelvic floor after birth. And now it's important to note that the four to six week time frame where we're waiting for the all clear is too short to start running back to the gym and start lifting weights and doing our pre-pregnancy workout routine, but it's also too long to do absolutely nothing. And so we can start focusing on reconnecting with really gentle exercises. If you're wanting something more than just this one video to help you recover in the early postpartum phase, we do have a free early postpartum recovery course that you can join and we linked it down in the notes below. The first exercise that we're gonna do is gonna be diaphragmatic breathing. So we're gonna be learning how to reconnect with our core and with our pelvic floor by using our breath. So we can first start in a comfortable position on your bed, on your couch, if you're in the hospital in your labor bed, and we can come down and just find a position that feels good for you on your back. If being flat on your back does not feel comfortable, you can also be in a more reclined position by putting more pillows behind you or finding like a wedge that you can lay on as well. For this, I'm gonna keep my legs bent like this. Typically, it's not recommended to come into like a wide-legged position after birth, especially if you had any sort of vaginal tearing. And so for me, I'm just finding a position that's comfortable with my legs or even allowing them just kind of knock together. I'm gonna place my hands on my rib cage here, and I'm gonna focus on feeling my rib cage expand out to the side with while I inhale, and then also pushing my back into the floor. And then when I exhale, I'm just gonna release and let go. So big inhale into my sides, feel my back push into the bed, and then exhale, just let go. So we'll do about 10 breaths, just focusing on Rib cage expansion, feeling my back expand into the bed with exhales, chest releasing and letting go. About one more breath here. Now we're gonna do about five breaths here where I still focus on the inhales to expand. So I'm feeling my rib cage expand and my back push into the bed. But I'm gonna to exhale to think lift up in my pelvic floor and kind of pull my belly to the spine. So I'm inhaling to the back and I'm exhaling to lift the front half. So big inhale. Exhale, just a gentle lift. Big inhale. Exhale, gentle lift. Inhale again. Exhale, lift. One more. Now 
Now we're gonna start to do some gentle mobility work starting on the side. So we're gonna start with this open book position. So I'm gonna come onto the side, placing my knees and hands on top of each other. And then I'm going to open up to whatever feels comfortable for me and then come back. So we're just gonna rotate back and forth very slowly, exploring how this feels in your body. I'm gonna aim for about 10, but if you do a little bit more or a little bit less than I do, that's totally fine as well. And this is just a really gentle stretch and movement to add into your spine. If you don't feel super comfortable with twisting motions, you don't have to find your deepest expression. So maybe we just come to a little bit. So you can just kind of find like what twist feels good for you. In the early postpartum, we tend to get like stuck in positions a lot. Like we're holding baby, we're feeding baby, we're sleeping. And so it can feel very stiff in our spine. Let's go ahead and switch sides. So just gonna rotate to the opposite side, place hands and knees on top of each other, and then just open up to twist. Finding the level of expression in this pose that feels good for you. You don't have to find like the deepest expression ever. You may find that just like a little bit of movement feels more accessible to you and that's totally fine. So just adding some movement into our back, into our hips can help us just relieve so much tension in these early days of postpartum. I'm gonna do about two more here. So coming back onto our back, I'm gonna remove this pillow from underneath my head and we're gonna do floor angels. So I'm gonna start in that supine position again. If you don't find the supine position feels very good for you, we can come to a seated position where you'll have your arms kind of like a scarecrow and you'll push the hands straight up and we're just gonna kind of move through this. At the bottom is where we're gonna feel this big stretch in the chest. If you do feel comfortable in a supine position, you'll just lay flat on your back. A slight recline is also fine. Your arms are gonna start in that scarecrow position and you're gonna reach overhead and then come back down to feel a big stretch in that chest. Really focus on trying to keep that rib cage down too. Sometimes we tend to arch in the back as we do this. So reach overhead and back down. And I'm gonna do about 10. Again, similar to the last movement, if you do more or less than me, that's totally fine. We're really just exploring movement again in our body in this early postpartum phase again. And so it's all right if things don't feel right or they feel a little funky for you. Nothing should be painful though at this point. It might just feel like odd in this new body. About two more. Feel that big stretch in the chest. and then come to a seated position. So I'm gonna come to a kneeling position. And one of the things that tends to get really tight during pregnancy and then can feel very tense during the early postpartum is our backside. We tend to kind of get like stuck in positions all the time. And then during pregnancy, we tend to favor this really big arch in our back. And we may still be favoring it postpartum as well, especially as we're kind of like holding baby and trying to figure out how to stabilize again. So something that we can do is gonna be a child's pose back breathing drill. And so you can take your pillow, you're gonna hug it, and then you're just gonna curl around it. If you had a C-section or, you know, or you don't feel comfortable rounding onto something onto the belly, you can also come into a seated position, just place your hands on your knees, and then just push your back away to round in the back. So find a variation that feels most successful to you. So I'm gonna curl around my pillow almost into this like child's pose position. So my back is kind of forced into this rounded position. And then from here, I'm gonna inhale into my back and then exhale to let go. So big inhale into the back, try to feel like these ribs are expanding from one another. Exhale, let go. Three more here. Last one. Now for the next five, I'm gonna focus on exhale to engage my pelvic floor and core as I kind of pull myself into a more rounded position. So I'm gonna inhale to expand in my back 
And then exhale, I'm going to almost think like I'm trying to pull my pelvis and rib cage closer together by engaging my core. And now this is a really gentle movement. So it's not going to be like a thousand percent activation. It's going to be like 10 or 20 percent. So big inhale. Every exhale is going to allow you to move just a little bit deeper into this round in position. which can help you release tension in your back. So last one. Now for the final exercise, we're gonna do a really gentle core exercise. One of the things that's really crucial for core stabilization is learning how to engage our deep core system, which is what we were doing with all of that breathing exercise. And we also need to learn how to coordinate our arms and legs to different types of movements. So the first exercise that we're gonna do is gonna be a 90-90 hip lift. So you're gonna use a wall or like your headboard or something to put your feet onto, and we're just gonna slightly lift the hips off the floor to help engage the backside of the body. So we're gonna start in this 90-90 position with our feet onto the wall. If you wanna add like a Pilates ball or a pillow or something between your knees, feel free, but you don't have to. I'm first gonna say try to drag my heels down so I feel my hamstrings turn on, but my feet are not gonna actually move. I'm just like thinking like tracking my feet down so that I have a little bit more hamstring activation. I could put my hands on my rib cage if that feels good for me. And then I'm just gonna exhale to slightly lift my hips off the floor and then inhale to lower my hips back down. So I'm gonna exhale. As I do the exhalation to lift my hips up, I'm thinking I'm pushing through my heels to turn on my hamstrings to lift my hips. I'm not pushing through my toes to use my glutes. So I'm exhaling to drive my heels down, hamstrings are turning on to then lift my hips up. So it's just like a very subtle difference. But again, for a lot of us, the hamstrings may be a little over lengthened from pregnancy. They may have a little bit harder time turning on. And the hamstrings are really important for pelvic stability and for pelvic comfort. And so being able to learn how to reactivate those as a part of our deep core system can be really important. I'm only lifting my hips to be like an inch off the floor. Like it's a really subtle movement, but I'm really focusing on trying to coordinate this to my breath and movement. So last one. and then release. I hope this gentle workout was helpful for you to learn how to reconnect with your core and with your pelvic floor in these early days postpartum. Know that you don't need to do something every single day. It's all about just trying to breathe, try to do some gentle mobility to move your body so that you're comfortable. And then you can slowly integrate some core exercises to help you learn how to coordinate that breath to movement or keep your torso position as your arms and legs do things. If you want more support during these early weeks postpartum, join our free early postpartum recovery course that we've linked down below. If you're past four to six weeks postpartum or you want to start figuring out what you want to do to return to fitness after birth, you can join our postpartum fitness programs. Our postpartum fitness programs are offered in two formats. We have our team builder app variation with a list of exercises with demo videos. So if you want to work out in like a gym setting, for example, or you like self-paced workouts, that's a really great option for you. If you prefer to follow a video as you work out at the same time, we do have a postpartum on-demand program and a postpartum yoga program that you can do. And as a thank you for watching this video, you can use code YouTube10 to get 10% off any of our online programs and online courses. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to like and subscribe to our channel so you get notified whenever we release new videos, we release new workout videos every week in addition to educational videos every week to help support you throughout your pregnancy, your birth, and beyond.